Summer in Maine, that glorious part of the year that Mainers earn by enduring the long, mm. cold winter months. But summer now also carries a warning label. Beware of ticks. Deer ticks that carry Lyme disease are very active this summer due to the wet and cooler temperatures we had this spring. Experts say the tick invasion we are experiencing is expected to crawl even farther north this summer, meaning cases of the disease could surge. All this week, New Center is taking a closer look at how researchers are using modern technology and techniques to try to protect us and our dogs and cats. New Center's Vivian Lee is here now to tell us more. Hi, Viv. Back again, guys, with more information that you guys want to know about. And also, reported cases of Lyme have risen nearly every year since 2011. The CDC says, CDC says there were nearly 1,400 cases of the disease in 2018. There is now a small army of researchers in Maine trying to pinpoint how far and wide this tick invasion has reached. So far, their research discovered that ticks can live under snowbanks all winter long as far as north as Millinocket, and in northern Maine. Now researchers are combing parts of Maine no one ever imagined would see the tick invasion. Just 12 miles outside of Millinocket on a gorgeous summer day, Rick Levesser and his friends are heading out into the water and they aren't wearing a lick of repellent. I've never seen a deer tick and I've never heard of anybody in this area ever having any Lyme disease. He owns a lodge which draws tourists from all over the country. Compared to central and southern Maine, which is experiencing a tick invasion, he says the majority of his visitors have few concerns about being at risk for Lyme. It's wonderful to be on the Appalachian Trail and in Baxter State Park and maybe in the new <laughs> National Monument and not have to worry about being covered with ticks. About a mile away, deep in the woods at the Savoy's public lands, a team of students from the University of Maine are on a mission. Just trying to figure out as best we can where that line is. Wearing white jumpsuits and protective headgear, Michelle Volk and Brianna Guy are hunting for ticks. They drag what looks like white flags across the forest floor. Ticks looking to attach to an animal will often latch on. Volk is collecting data from several different sites across the state. Presque Isle in Aroostook County, Orno just north of Bangor, and Cutler on the coast in Washington County. The data will help create a tick tracking map to let the public know where deer ticks are, especially in areas that are still reporting very few cases of Lyme disease. It definitely would be good to be able to warn people um, that there's a risk of tick-borne diseases, especially at places that we've been that we know we've found ticks so far. Researchers are dragging near four tick traps. They were placed in the ground last fall. Inside, ticks were in bottles covered by leaf litter. Now 93% survived under three feet of snow last winter. Several hours of dragging different locations in the woods results in the discovery of one nymph. The last stage before a tick becomes an adult. Researchers aren't necessarily surprised. Just because we know that they can survive the winter doesn't mean they are or there are other environmental factors that are preventing them from being here. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We catch up with the students two weeks later in Cape Elizabeth. I got a few dog ticks in the area as well as black-legged ticks. Students are finding ticks in a patch of conservation land near the woods. Ticks from this site will serve as a control group, giving researchers additional data to compare with other locations. As far as a possible line in the state where ticks haven't crossed yet? It may very well be south of Seboyas. Um, it might be around Seboyas. Um, we're getting a pretty good abundance in the Orno Bangor area. As for Levesser and his friends near Millinocket, that's too close for comfort. Hopefully they will stay south of Bangor. You know, that's what I'm hoping. Now this month, researchers will collect ticks from field mice to see what diseases they carry. Besides the bacteria that causes Lyme, they're also testing for bacteria that causes anaplasmosis and other tick-borne illnesses. Volk also hopes to use the data and post the information about tick activity and diseases they carry on signs at all state parks throughout the Maine, possibly by late 2020. So Viv, what do researchers think is causing the ticks to move farther north? We were just talking about that. You know, they believe deer and animal migration. You know, deer are pretty much everywhere throughout the state. Field mice are, are apparently one of the, the animals that carry, carry, yeah. carry ticks, and that's also playing a big role. And they're also looking at the warming of our climate, um, possibly playing a role to allow these ticks to live under the snowbanks and turn up in areas no one's ever seen before. And coming up tomorrow, we'll see firsthand how these tick-borne illnesses can be really dangerous for your best friend, man's best friend, of course, Fido. Look forward right. to that. Yes. Thanks, Viv. Thanks.